Ladies and gentlemen, we back. Hit that like button, people. Subscribe. Start this thing out with the Megan Merkel saga. Megan Merkel does an interview with Oprah Winfrey. And she talks about the royal family and how the treatment, the mistreatment of her. And she says that the royal family told her, informed her that little Archie would not be a prince because he was part black. So she's claiming racism from the royal family. Now, what's problematic to me about it all is that, one, this young lady decided to marry into a family that made all of its fortune off of the Atlantic, Atlantic slave trade of black people in the United States of America. She chose to marry a dude who three years before she married him was walking around at a party with a Nazi outfit on with his white friends dressed in blackface. Now she wanted to tell us that she have a problem with racism. She doesn't have a problem with racism. What she have a problem with is the royal family rejecting her. She had no problem marrying to a racist monarch. Zero problems. Zero. And so, a couple of weeks ago, it was the story that came out. And they was talking about Meghan Merkel being a bully and bullying her staffers and stuff. And when I saw that, I was like, I wonder what her response is going to be to this story. And so I didn't see anything whatsoever about it from her. But then she comes out with this. And as soon as I see it, I know exactly what it is. I know exactly what it is. I said, she pulling an OJ and, and, and a Clarence Thomas. OJ, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Clarence Thomas, man, I didn't see no racism whatsoever growing up as a kid. And he was born in Virginia. I just was saying, I don't remember the... Like, I know OJ, I'm OJ, and then yeah. black people ride behind him. Mm -hmm. I don't really... The Clarence. I, don't really, I ain't gonna lie. You don't know. You probably know. I don't really yes, know who yeah, the fuck Clarence Thomas is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a I think it was Justin. a movie about him one time. Yeah, it time, was. And I know about yeah, the Supreme with Court. Yeah, and I think it, he had a... What is it, a rape allegation? Yeah. From Anita Hill, and then there was like three other women. Right? And so... What he did was they was on his ass. But I didn't but, know that he had pulled like I'm yeah, not black. I'm yeah, well, yeah. He's a Republican. We're hard right, I, right I, Republican. I, I'm not black. I'm conservative. And you know what was crazy about him though, Clarence Thomas. If you go back to like the late late sixties and seventies, Clarence Thomas was someone who rode with Marcus McGarvey and talked up Kwame Torre. But during the 80s, he started seeing black people if the establishment start cooning for the Democrats. So he said, shit, let me get my f feet wet too and go over here and start cooning with the Republicans. Since nobody going to actually fight for black empowerment anymore. But he used his race to get himself on the Supreme Court saying it was a high-scale lynching. And so now you had all these black people out there supporting him, forgetting that this dude was a gray A coon. And Clarence Thomas. And with Joe Biden, Joe Biden, he hid the other three women who had the same allegations against Clarence Thomas. And so this is what Meghan Merkel is doing now, is using black people 
A people who a group of people who she had distanced herself from her whole life. Black people out there calling her black. Hey, find one video of her saying that she's black. I actually have read a um a column. I think it was on NBC News about biracial people who are biracial black and white and and I already figured this just by my life experiences that people who come up in the black community normally cause themselves black where people who grow up in white communities don't and black yeah, boys don't like universal though black boys say that they black but mixed race black women don't say that they black they say that they Mixed race or they great. Most great. Most want to act like they some, something special. And the reason why they detailed it in the article, the reason why these black women don't do this is because of economic reasons. They try to distance themselves from their black side to try to date, date white males. And this is exactly what Meghan Merkel was. But she now have been rejected. She's been rejected. By the royal family But I said all of that Racism of that whole family That whole family is built off of racism and slavery And she's like Nope I still marry I still marry Prince Harry I still marry into that family But now that they didn't reject her And took away all of the benefits That she thought she was going to get as queen Now she out here Trying to use her race to get back in good. And then his brother comes out and he's like, no, man. No, no racism in my family whatsoever. Man, y'all are colonizing Africa now. If racism is he not said, in y'all family. He said before we colonized them, now they just open their hand, open their arms up and let us in. No, they, yeah, and they, but they still doing it. And it's like, if y'all are not racist, give Africa all the artifacts back. That y'all stole from them. If y'all are not racist, get Africa back. Well, get Africa is represent reparations. If y'all are not racist. Y'all family can do that right now and prove that y'all are not racist. With all the artifacts, all the stuff that was stolen from Africa. By the UK. Your family. You can give it all back to them right now. That would prove to all Africans... All black people across the United States of America. We still gonna call you racist, but <laughs> we still gonna call you racist, but you can show you trying to get better. But Megan Merkel though, she is a trip. But who is a trip out of all of this stuff? To me, it's Oprah Winfrey. Thought you didn't want to say her supporters. Yeah, yeah, you you now you know Bat Rent City. The, the, like most of the people that you've seen who was out there falling for the nonsense with her was black women who's living through Meghan Merkel dating a rich white man. That's the chicks that you saw who was caping. I, I had a beef with uh old Monique Presley on Twitter about this very thing. And I was like, yeah. Yeah, but I had a thing with Monique Presley on Twitter. We was on her ass because she was out here doing this same thing. And and then what was so crazy, I don't know how this story. I don't with some of these crazy chicks on Twitter, I don't know how a story about Prince Harry and Meghan Merkel become about black men. Like you watch these chicks and they try to police everything with black men. Black men can't have an opinion. Strong black men, black men who are opinionated, that think for themselves. Man, these black chicks in the mainstream media hate that. I think she just gonna turn this into a story about black dudes. And I had tweeted it. I said, I guess if all Lord Cash apped you $50, then you'll defend straight black men just like you did Cosby. Or you ain't had shit to say about him. You defended him. I guess all of us straight black men got to cash after you fifty dollars. He actually did that, huh? I said he actually did that, so I went talking to the mic people. Who that? Bill Cosby. And he gave some money or something. Yeah, cause she was his lawyer. She defended him uh, in court. Uh, uh, well, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know who the fuck that was. And so, 
That was a long time. And ago. I was like, how the hell did this this turn into you know a story about black dudes? And then when you start lighting them up, and I remember it's this black sister, she had lit her ass up, and she was like, I don't give a damn about Meghan Merkel. This girl married into a racist monarch. She said, Well, can you care about her as a human? She said, Did she care about all the humans that? That family home, all of the black people, did she care about any of them? No, people she didn't. I always want to go to the, see. I, I was trying to stay quiet on that. But that part there, I still ain't going to talk about this Megan Merkel, Megan Merkel shit because I don't give a damn. Because it's crazy. I don't give a damn about her. I ain't give a damn about Prince, what, what a nigga, what Princess Kate and, and the other nigga, Prince William, I ain't care about them. But the human thing, I've noticed this over maybe the past year or so that. Well, you want me to speak, speak up? up a little bit? Oh, my bad. I'm 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 a little low. I just I'm still still in the mode of being sleepy. But you you you, you like I don't get it. They like, you when you bring up the hey, what you care about her being human? Like like I, before, like maybe these people leave weird because I'm starting to know that there's a lot of motherfuckers out here who weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Never my favorite thing to say now. Like, yo, people are weird. I used to say niggas are weird, but that that could be for some people that could be subjective. So I'm starting saying people are weird. Human beings on earth are weird. Except for me, I'm the exception. Maybe. <laughs> but you motherfuckers out there are weird. Yeah. Like human beings, you care about human. Like, let me know when other people start caring about human beings. And, and, and my thing is, though, and I feel like that's what people are trying to do. But it like, uh, uh-uh, we we, you can start screaming that human being shit. We all one. We all one race. We all one set. When people, when we are actually took care of all the bad fucked up problems in the world. And see, my thing is for her, like she could say, yeah, I care about humans, but. Can you say that when you're talking about Meghan Merkel? It has to be reciprocated. Meghan Merkel didn't care about her own people. She married into a family of white supremacy. She didn't give a shit about black folk at all. And like I said, she married into the family, and now once she rejected, she coming out trying to use her race, something that she never, ever said that she was black. This is a girl who then got her hair scraped and had a no job, everything, trying to look like a white European woman. They and these people out here going people. around here calling her black. And one of the other things, too, that was crazy, reading headlines and stuff. And they was like, Oprah Winfrey goes in on a royal family to take, to take down a racist mother. I said... Monique got to be somewhere looking, saying, "What happened with me? What happened with me? She wasn't she wasn't willing to do this with me in Hollywood, but she was doing it with Meghan Merkel and the royal family. She Somebody who what? like this chick here don't even claim to be black. Don't even claim it. Monique is out here trying to." Fight for black women in better ways is in Hollywood. And Oprah does nothing. Leave her in the dust. Well, let's be honest. He probably is not just can't think about it. But when I, like 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 the last time that Oprah had just really done anything for black Americans. Yeah. And I specifically say black Americans because some people can come in. Like, he probably is. Like, like you see, in the comment section, let me know. The only thing I can remember that she done was she opened that little school over there in Africa. Yeah. And, and, but, I guess, and but the thing is, like, with the comments, like I'm saying, my thing is not about whether or not she did something from black people or not. My thing is, is people are talking about her like she's willing to go at white power and white supremacy because she done this with these with the uh royal family and i'm like no nah, she not like no, she wouldn't do I that get, for monique at all no and no that's what i'm saying like i get that like that's what i said about megan merkel and her supporters they'll support her through all her bullshit Hell yeah, they are. 
And even like you said, you mentioned something about her family coming out and dying her out. And people still didn't care. And <laughs> then what I'm saying about Oprah, like she got her supporters. She have their Oprah stands who, and the evidence is pointing to, eh, she ain't really, is she really doing this? No, she's not because she ain't even doing this in her, again, I don't care about none of this Prince Harry, Prince William. None of this shit. This is about another country. I live in America. I stay in America. Will I ever go to where they from? Are they from England? One motherfucking country. I don't know. I probably would never go there. And even if I did, I'd be a tourist. I care about America. Oprah, how about you do something about this racial tension, this racial shit in America? Yeah, but you would never, and that's what I'm saying, like, you would never see Oprah being outspoken like that. She outspoken about feminism. Mm-hmm. She, she outspoken about that. She outspoken about that. But black stuff? Like, overall, no. This is Oprah Winfrey in 19, what, 90, telling George Bush she felt black people use slavery as a crutch. Like, this is who Oprah Winfrey is. But they on there producing it like, nah, Oprah Winfrey, man, she 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 she's a fighter of white supremacy. No, she's not. Stop lying. Stop lying. I said like those chicks was like, and it was just crazy when I'm watching all of this stuff fly through Twitter, and I'm like, man, I didn't realize so many dumb black people are actually out here claiming this woman like this. And I said black people make themselves look really fucking pathetic, claiming people who don't claim them. Like, why do you need to claim Megan Merkel? I used to have that same shit with Tiger Woods. And like, Tiger Woods, like, no, son. Tiger Woods go around here talking about he's some other shit. Then let him be that other shit. You ain't got to claim that nigga. Black people don't need to claim Tiger Woods. Especially when he ain't claiming you. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe. Tell us what you got. We got to think about this man in the comments. Excuse me. Next topic. Stacy Dash, man. Stacy Dash did an interview where she said she's sorry to black America. It was all type of snot bubbles. And yeah, everything. she was crying and she wanna come back home. She Stacy Dad wanna come back home, black folk. And I hope y'all know y'all locked that goddamn dope. Yeah, locked the goddamn dope. You leave her outside and let her cry. And the thing was with Stacy Dash is, uh, it's like I said, Bet Bet Rent City, man, where you have these type of women. You know, I've seen white guys talk about this, uh, about some of the black girls that they have dated, where they get a feeling that the black girls that they have dated is toning down their blackness for their acceptance. And this is what she was doing. And she talked about, yeah, I was trying, I was like being the angry conservative. And yeah, I um, and I really didn't support Trump. I didn't really uh, support him. But I was angry and I was mad. And I'm so sorry to black America and all of this type of stuff. And I always say this about these people when I see them. Male or female And I always say like Listen man I don't know why y'all folk do this stuff That y'all do Because y'all know black America And y'all know when black America Want to come down hard on somebody Bro They come down hard And when your ass walk through America And you see black people And black people ain't gonna pay your ass any attention They gonna act like your ass is dead to them now you want to get back and cry. Just like Kanye West. Just like the girl Michelle A. When she went and performed that Trump inauguration. And her whole career is built off of black dollars. And R&B and black people left her ass sitting flat. And her career wasn't big enough for her to go and make that move. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know why y'all folks want to challenge black people. I have no clue. Like, when you decide that you're going to go to war with black people, boy, 
you better know that you got a home over there in white America. You better have a home over there. That's just like Candace Owen. All the cooning, all the mammyism that she be doing. She got it. She know I got to stay over here fully. It ain't no, these white folk going to dump me to the side and then I'm going to come back over there and join black people. No, 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 no. Because she has said some things on you see white people like, eh, we don't agree with her. Yeah. But she come right back later on that night or that week or that month and it like she ain't and, changed. And so you know like with Stacey Dash you would see her doing all of this stuff. Uh, last not, and she was talking about Trump. I was like nah boo you've been doing stuff like this the last six years. No I had just thought about Like it been a minute. Like I was like yeah I do remember her and her little uh, white husband had got into something. Yeah yeah down in Florida. And I was like was that and then my matter of fact that's the last time I heard anything about when, her yes, and then yes, and did pop up. And see, this dude who she was dating, he was an old Republican. Mm. And she was over over there, she thought she was over there living good. Doing everything. And now I got me and Zaddy, I can come out here and shit on black folk now. And so the dude dumped her ass. And divorced. Now she's on TV crying, talking about I'm sorry, black people. She want to come home now. And I said, this is the same stuff that you see with black people all the time, man. That's that like I just said with Megan Merkel. These people, we want to distance themselves from black folk until white people give them their nigga card. Now they want to come back home. And I was like, dude, y'all know how black people are. They going to come down on your heart. <laughs> and you can tell, right? When you watch the interview and you see her face, you can tell that no nah, boy, black people been on her. She been on them. Yeah. Uh yeah. tweet. She been on there searching herself on Twitter. And she been reading them comments. Black people that she come across in the streets have been shunning the hell out of her goddamn man. And you can see it in her face. Oh no, I've been saying and like some black people. You know, they're uh, in Grazier and accept it back with open arms. But not all of them. Hell no, a lot of black people be like, damn, Stacey Dan. Not all <laughs> of them. And, like, this is probably, I mean, this is probably, I don't know what the hell I just said then. Like, she don't really do anything other than the past couple of years by coming out being very open conservative and people like cause you know that's a shocker for a lot of black people because we I don't know why cause it ain't like it ain't never been a black conservative out no it see no it's a bunch of see the problem is it's a bunch of black conservative we just don't have a lot of black republicans right we don't have a lot of black republicans see there's a lot of issues that I'm conservative on but we don't have a lot of black Republicans. Black people ain't finna go line themselves over there. And it was a dude, uh, I forget what his name was, um, put out a column this week talking about uh, Candace Owen. And he was a black dude, he was Republican, and he was like, listen, Candace Owen is not helpful to the Republican Party pertaining to black people. He said, those are the type of people she don't give a fuck. that, huh? No, he's talking about the Republicans. The Republican put her out thinking that she's going to get black people to vote for. Them. Vote for them. That's why they hire her. And he's telling them that, no, Candace only running black people away. Of course. Like her, Larry Elder, all of them. Ain't nobody black listening to them fools and like, yeah, we going to vote. Vote. For the Republican Party because Candace Owen is out here degrading us and shitting on us every single day. True. Because I think it is another, at least, maybe. I think, wait, I think it was in Boston. It was a, um, I, I guess it was a woman she run for mayor, black woman she black run woman. She yeah. for mayor uh, or something like that. And at least for her thing, because she was a Republican, I was like, she didn't talk bad yeah, about. Well, like I you said, you just didn't see it. Yeah, like I said, I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I don't. I, don't yeah. I, I just like I barely remember who it was. Mm -hmm. So, like, but she tried to disguise it. That's why you didn't really see it. Like, she, I know what you mean when you see her. She kind of like talk, 
No, Pop. I was talking. Well, yeah, probably the same thing. Cause it was like a ad that she was running, mm-hmm. and I think it made it on. Was it on World Star? It was on one yeah. goddamn World Star. Yeah, it was on World Star. And yeah, like I said, like what we talked about there the other day, there is a lot of racist terms out there. I know some of them can pertain to black, but I don't know how long. Cause it's a new one that always crop up. So maybe she did throw some stuff out there that I didn't really yeah. pick up. But yeah. what? Well, at least with, she tried, and I give yeah. her. Yeah, I give her. Ma- I but with Candace Owen, it's just out. Yeah, it's Candace like, Owen yeah. and some other one, it's just out there blatantly. Yeah, and it, because like, that's not like, see that let me, lady you talking about. She, she was running for office, so she's trying to get black vote in a predominantly black district. Candace Owen is not trying to get anybody black to listen to her. Candace Owens know exactly who her audience is. Her audience is white men. White, racist, conservative men. That's who her audience is, and she knows it. Her, she ain't even attempting to get black people to uh, vote for the Republican Party. She's just over there cashing in over those white people. The problem is people like Charlie Kirk, Ben Shapiro, people over there in that world, they think that, no, Candace only going to help get us some black people. No, she's not, though. No, she's not. She's going to run black people as far away from the Republican Party as possible. And now you see Stacey Dash, she didn't got chewed up, spit out, and now she's trying to come back home. Uh-uh. But you know what'll happen. You know what'll happen. It'll be Tyler Perry or somebody like that will throw her in the movie. I guarantee, I guarantee you that that's what will happen. It will throw Tyler Perry in there, and it's going to be some black dude. Because black dude loved them some Stacey Dad. That's why when 1990, late 90s, nigga loved them some Stacey Dad. That's why when Stacey Dad started cooning, black dude was like, oh, damn. Them yeah, niggas wanted to take back they, all of no, them no, masturbations no, no, no. that they had in high school. Yeah, put it I back. wish I could take them back. Black dude love them some black women. So when the black one come out here and they start cooning and shit like that, I don't know what the fuck going on. That it, it breaks their heart. So, cause we seen this. You can say Stacy Dash. I can also give you Doja Cat. There's a lot of black nah, niggas out nah, there nah, nah, that I was disagree. heartbroken. Nah, I disagree with on that Doja Cat. There was a lot of niggas that was heartbroken. See, no, see. But see, I with the Doja, it. see with the Doja Cat thing, that was different, right? See with Stacey Dad, Stacey Dad was just saying she supported Trump. Black dude was like, eh, okay, eh, with that. But Doja Cat was in a, 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 a in a room showing feet to racist white dudes and shitting on Sandra Bland and doing all the other stuff. Now this shit was anti-black. A lot of stuff Stacey Dad was doing was just her trying to kiss Republican ass. Those cat shit was totally different. Black dudes gonna look at that I, situation totally different. I ain't saying one. I'm just saying it was some black niggas out there that was hurt. I I, I agree. Like I know you probably wouldn't. I wouldn't. I just don't. I probably would tell you I know more about Stacey Dads and would have cared a little bit more about Stacey Dads than I ever cared about right. those guys. No, yeah, me too. Amazing. But for the black niggas that's the like that, get some, some that get niggas and something yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. some of the weirdos. They were sad. Yeah, they probably won. They were they tearing probably. up inside. Some but, never left, but I mean, yeah. but and that's the thing. Like for just though, for me with Stacey Dash, it was like, man, I I don't know why these black people keep doing this. And like, don't y'all learn from the others? Don't you channel black people like this, bro? Cause black people gonna torture y'all asses. Especially when, like, the girl Michelle A, you do, like, R&B music. Yeah, you do, like, pop music. Most of your audience is white. Yeah, you probably think you can shit on black people and get away with it. But when you do, like, R&B music, don't you ever in your life think that you're going to shit on black people? They going to cancel the hell out your goddamn man. All right, people. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Man. They passed the uh, new stimulus bill. Joe Biden signed it into law. Um, the thing, though, I want to s- discuss today 
is the Democrats and specifically the Justice Democrats. They're supposed to be somehow different from the regular Democrats. This is the first time I've heard of this. What is the Justice Democrats? Justice Democrats was a group that Jink Uger and um, Kyle Kalinske created a few years back. Alexandra Cortez is a part of that group. Uh, Rohan is a part. Uh, Bowman is a part. Iman Omar is a part. Ariana Presley is a part. I know a couple of them. Um, Rashida Tlaib is a part. And so they needed... They was trying to pack, get $15 minimum wage pass. But Manchin... Manchin from uh, West Virginia, he comes out and said, I'm not voting for it. One person say, I'm not voting for it. And then you have the other Democrats that say that they would. But now, the thing is, is that only thing you need is six of these Justice Democrats to say, we're not going to vote for the package if it doesn't have $15 minimum wage in it. Now they got to go back to the drawing board and come up with a new bill, right? Now, what's amazing about this whole thing is watching Jink Uger on TYT. By the two months ago, Jimmy Dore was trying to put together the force to vote on Medicare for all so we can get universal health care. Jink them came out and just shitted on Jimmy Dore. All of these people shitted on Jimmy Dore. Now, Jake them is talking about hey the Justice Democrats they should they should they should force the vote but he won't say force the vote because he know that's Jimmy shit now he would expose himself to his own audience so he don't want to say that but he's basically describing the same thing that Jimmy was just telling them before and what was amazing watching it is listening to Jink say, I'm about to ruin my relationships with people within the Justice Democrats. Why do you need relationships with them? He said, burning my bridges. Burning your bridges? You're supposed to be somebody who's responsible to giving media to the people the hell you mean burning bridges with politicians are you selling out dude it ain't that he's selling out he been sold out a long time ago when he took 24 million dollars from hillary clinton donors he been doing this and what he doing is he want access to have these people on his show so he can get views but he admits man if the if the justice democrats don't do anything on this then man we ain't gonna they, they're not gonna do anything over the next four years ain't this is what Jimmy Dawg was just telling you that is one thing like I watched the Young Turks but the one thing that I always dislike about Jink is that Jink Yuga is naive than a motherfucker man he naive as hell Like, it's still to this point that he don't understand and realize, bro, that the progressives, what the progressives do, progressive can't people who run for office as progressives, what they do is see a storm brewing. So they see that, okay, progressive got some energy. Let me jump on that wagon. Like, Ariana Presley in 2016 was a hard moderate Democrat. Then she runs for office in 2018. And she becomes the big time progressive. And she beats Capono and she makes it in. And now people are like, yo, how come Ariana Presley ain't doing nothing progressive? Because Ariana Pro- Presley is not a progressive. She just used y'all energy that y'all created on the left to beat Capono, who was actually a real progressive who had 25 years of experience being a progressive. That's what she did. And that's why all the other people did. They, they don't seem to understand that what these progressives doing is 
progressives are doing. And Gene Yuga is one of these people. He's one of these individuals. What they do is to give the people who's damn near on the outside of policy, who ready to walk away, the progressives are the people that are there to hurt them back to the Democratic Party. That's all progressives are. Is the people to sit on the outside, scream and yell, and give folks a sense of hope, pretending that, hey, change is going to come. But as soon as Bernie Sanders lose, Jink Uger them is right there telling everybody to vote for Hillary Clinton. Jink them right there to tell everybody to vote for Joe Biden. But that's Ooh, all that they there for is to hurt people who normally who don't get what they want out of American politics and start saying we're going to leave. They there to hurt them people back in to give them this sense of hope that something's going to change. Yeah, and there was something that I know I watched them, but I know you talk about it a lot. Like, and I didn't like that, and it kind of continued. It continued into this year again. Well, last year. And it was like, I don't. And then could it bad because. Like, I would hear people say, like, especially when Joe Biden would do... Like, if Joe Biden ain't really been in there long enough to do anything... Rem- well, I mean, you can. Yeah, Because yeah. he, can he got no know executive orders. He can do shit. No, no, I'm just saying, like, he ain't been... Our friends say he ain't been in there long enough to do anything for people to come out and say, see, that's why you should have voted for Bernie. But, yeah, he has to have been. Yeah, yeah. And I have heard somebody say that before, and it, like... Uh, and then like and I would see people who were like okay you say yo that's why we should have voted for Bernie but you came out and said yo you voted for after Bernie didn't win you went out and you voted for Joe Biden and I used to hear that a lot before within, when Hillary Clinton did it and she didn't win and I was like that and, and my thing I used to, like, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe those people didn't, during that Hillary Clinton time, maybe they didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. They did. A lot of them did. Yeah, no, no, I think about it. Yeah, they did. They, they came out in droves and did it. She just didn't win in electoral college. No, but, like, she, like, like, the black vote was down. Latino vote was down. But the normal people, like, Jink you with them type of progressive, Bernie Sanders voter, mm. she got, like, like eighty five percent of those people. But and I'm my thing, I was like, yo, y'all can't be like, yo, that's why y'all should have voted for Bernie, and then you voted for somebody that you didn't want to vote for anyway. Because mm-hmm. once the person that I wanted to win or something, that, like we talk, I can give you, a, for instance, the Super Bowl. What my team, both my team went out in the playoffs and didn't make the playoffs. I didn't care who was in the playoffs. I didn't watch the playoffs. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I was watching too busy watching something else. But for y'all, and I get it a little bit. For this, for this yeah, for this instance, I get it. Because y'all made Donald Trump out to be the big bad wolf that was going to blow all y'all houses down. But so, they voted for the uh, Democratic equivalent in Joe Biden. Yeah, so... Everything that they said about Donald Trump, Joe Biden needs to. So, and now why, like, it, it... That why you wanted to go out and you voted for Hillary Clinton. And now why y'all went out and voted hard this time for... When I say y'all, you... you oh, maybe you don't know you know who I'm talking about, but either way, you don't matter now. But, and now why people voted for Joe Biden. But it still don't make sense to me. It never will because I voted for Bernie. When it came to, hey, the general election of who you want, Joe Biden or Donald Trump, I chose somebody else. (laughs) Yeah. But, and see, that's the thing. Like, Ryan Grimm, I seen Ryan Grimm out trashing the Green Party. And I was like, man, people can vote for whoever they want to, though, at the end of the day. Just don't get to the point where... They come out trying to force people to vote for the Democrats. Yeah, when that's they... what I was finna say. Like, that's true. You can. People out there, when it comes down to those elections, you can vote for whoever you want. Do your research. Go look these people up. But don't listen to it. And I say that 
for you not to go and listen to the media. Don't listen to CNN. Don't listen to N what M E. I'm not a yeah. I'm for some reason I can't say that goddamn words. Thank you. All the other don't listen to them. Just go out there and do your research. Go type in Google on your cell phones or in a, whatever your internet providers is. And you go Google that and type in president who's running for president and do your research. Because if you listen to these new people, they, they're going to tell you to vote for a Democrat. They're going to tell you to vote yeah, Republican. Yeah. And see, Don't but, matter whether they're good for you or bad for you. And, they're just going to tell you to vote. Like, and a lot like of times, that's what people do. Though, for like, jink them, though. Jink them and the Justice Democrat. What's so amazing to me about jink them and why he's so hopeful? And, man, we got to just get Democrats elected. And jink, you live in California, man. Y'all got this a super majority out there with the governor. And none of the stuff that you talk about on your show have y'all passed in the state of California. Not universal health care. Y'all ain't done nothing about police brutality. And they're like, yo, you just naive as hell. And about these hell. Democrats. And he got this belief in Alexandra Cortez them. And not seeing that, man, these people are careerists. These people are going to do what best for them and they career, not what's best for the American people. And, hell, and so they're not finna the stand up to Nancy Pelosi or Chuck Schumer, Joe Biden, and none of that. And that's why when they was people was telling these lies, like, yo, man, you know Joe Biden, he now saying that he for $2,000 checks. He's not. And now look at what you get now, 1400 Man, Joe Biden is for minimum wage. Joe Biden been in Congress for 49 years. Joe Biden been there. Guess what? Joe Biden have always been a dude who was against raising the minimum wage. No, no And no all problem. of a sudden, y'all ain't going to judge him off of his history. You're going to judge him by what he's saying now? I don't give a fat baby goddamn what he's saying now. I don't give a shit. Nah, I know exactly what Joe Biden finna do. And then they thought that, you know, he's going to cut. He's going to erase uh, student debt. No, he's not. And now like a lot of these people I'm seeing and they on Twitter and they talking about, man, Joe Biden really did finesse us. No, he did. And that would have been like I Joe Biden didn't finesse you because video. Joe Biden never told you he was going to do a goddamn thing. Yeah, I had seen a video about that student debt thing. I think it was like 50000 or, yeah. or more or something like that, and I think he was like, "No, I might do ten thousand." <laughs> and it was yeah. like, and I and I seen that people were like, "Yo, he got a he zipped there," and I was like, "I don't never think I ever heard him say anything no. about student debt." So hey, why would y'all think he that not. he would do something? That's why I said like, yeah, like don't... I remember Bernie speaking up about free college. Yeah, like people don't understand. Like, no, the what what. What Joe Biden is finna do is get the Democrats slaughtered in 2022. That's what he finna do. Oh, you talking about the... Not the... Midterm election. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what he finna do. Like, and that's why I was saying that even with this check, the check coming out $1,400, right? That ain't gonna be enough. The unemployed... Black unemployment rate, that motherfucker then shot back up to 10%. Black women being evicted out of their homes. The sisters are... We had lost 40, 45% of black businesses last year. No, shit is terrible. Joe Biden don't give a shit. The Democrats don't give a shit. And now, and, and they out here banking on the Justice Democrats. And I'm like, no. No. Man, y'all better start understanding what our Alexander Cortez and those people are, dude. They're not. They could have shut down that whole thing. Just like Ted Cruz them did back in 2010 when they got in office with Obama. They, Obama want to do uh, a budget. Them they said, man, we ain't voting for nothing until we get what we want. Obama ended up had to make the Bush tax cuts permanent and everything. That's how you do politics. But the 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 the, the Justice Democrats are in office getting defeated by one person, and that's Joe Manchin. And see, they love that because that's gonna be their excuse. Joe Manchin, Joe Manchin, Joe Manchin. See, now, when it's split government, they can just say it's a Republican. It's a Republican. That's why we can't do anything. But now they got the majority in the House, the Senate, and they have the White House. 
They boogeyman is Joe Manchin. No, we couldn't do it because Joe Manchin. No, you could have stopped Joe Manchin. Only thing you needed was six Democrats. And you got way more than six Democrats in the House and in the Senate could have just said, no, we ain't going to do this. Unless we get $15 minimum wage in there. Nope, you guys chose to vote for it because that's what you wanted. You didn't really want to get no $15 minimum wage pad. Stop bullshitting. But the thing is I, that I have a problem with is the naive ass people like Jink Newton. Like, how many times do Alexander Cortez and the other Democrat got to fuck you over before you realize that? No, the motherfuckers in there worrying about themselves. He's an optimist. They want to so. believe. No, it's side chick behavior. I mean, they, you can say that too. Side it, chick it, behavior, it, believing that they do finna leave his wife for you. And the only thing that dude doing is keep leading you on. And you right. keep falling that, for it. That's that showtime for it. And there's it's another word for it called very being optimistic. And there's a lot of people who are out there optimistic. Too damn optimistic. They hopeful. Um, let me see. I can't think of another term, but that, yeah, that's what it is. And that's all I see. And like I get it, somewhat. If you like, I get it. Yeah, I get it for myself, who is not like very, very heavily into politics. But even when I get a uh, dabble a little bit in it, I can see. Eh, Politics is basically you being very optimistic and hopeful that the person that you vote for is going to actually do that, do everything they say they want to do. But then when you do realize that a lot of politicians tell lies. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, but the thing but is. But in it kind of their job to get you to vote, so they're going to tell but, you but what you want to hear. Is, it's not just to them that they tell lies. It's about whether you fall for the lies. See, if you get into this tribalism stuff, then you good. You 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 fall into the tribalism stuff, then they gonna get you. Can you imagine you you in a having a relationship with a woman and you start telling her about she ain't performing up to your standards in the bedroom and she start telling you about some other dude down the street who ain't getting good sex for his wife. You ain't paying bills at that dude's house. You you worrying about your house. You 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 putting your effort into her. She telling you about somebody else. This is what the Democrats do to the left wing. Hey, we better than the Republicans. We better than Republicans. It's us or them. And then you hear say, well, we got to accept the Democrats. No, you're not voting for a Republican. Republicans are actually doing what they voters want them to do. The Democrats are not. And that's why I always say about Dr. King. When you seen Dr. King, he was always going after the Democrat. Why? Because at the time... 54% of black people were voting for the Democrat. He ain't finna be sitting around here talking about what the hell the Republicans are doing. His people ain't voting for the Republicans. His people are in bed with the Democrats. And the Democrats are not the one who performed. You ain't finna get me to accept the bad minimum from your ass. Why? Because you telling me about what somebody else ain't not doing. What the Republicans are not doing. I'm not accepting the bad minimum for that. All right, people. Hit that like button, subscribe. Next topic. There's a video. Not a video, but a story came out about this little young black boy. And um, the story was that his mom took him over a friend of his house. Over a friend's house. And they called the little black kid all kind of racial slurs. Boosted him and forced him to drink urine. And so they had the new the uh, press conference or whatever, and you had the black mother, and she was, you know, described or whatever about what happened to her kid. And the thing that bothered me is these kumbaya black people, man. I don't know what it is about these people because my mama wasn't like this and my father wasn't like this. My mama and daddy was skeptical about me going to a white neighborhood or whatever because I'm from, I live in Georgia. And so my parents are well aware of racism. Well aware of it. So when I was growing up and if I had like white friends or whatever, they were coming over my house and we were playing out in the backyard or I, if I did go down to their houses, we were playing outside. My mom and dad was like, nah, son, we, you, 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 you ain't, you can spend a night with black folk. But you ain't spending a night in some all-white neighborhood or whatever. 
And you just looked at that and you like, why the hell did this woman got her son going to a all white neighborhood with these white boys? And what kind of you no know, shit type of son she raising that you like, dude, you probably you could call me a racial slur. You probably try to jump me if it's four or five of y'all. But boy, I ain't drinking nobody piss. Oh, we fight. We scrapping it out, bro. I am not drinking nobody piss. Who the hell I look like an R. Kelly stand? Shut up, bro. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I had seen that story and I didn't like, you know, of course you thought it was terrible and whatnot, but I, I, I agree. Would you like? Yeah, I never like. Of course, I don't. I don't know what it is about. I been say, yo, maybe the old parents or could I see that now? Like I said, you have the people who are like, yeah, we are human beings, and with the new, hey, you got no such thing as race. It's only the human race. Yeah, and they want everybody want to be so open minded, and like I said, like I said, like yo. Ain't Leah the Kumbaya? They want to act like everything's sweet when everything is not sweet because we ain't to that point where everything could be sweet. We still have problems called racism in America for black people, uh, sexes, homophobia. There's a lot of stuff we have a problem with, so we can't be this whole Kumbaya. We all make because mis- I'm pretty sure somebody would say, Oh, those kids just made a, made a mistake. Really? They called him a racist slur. Uh, they made him drink piss. Those are multiple mistakes. Nah. Those the motherfucking knew what they were doing. And like I said, um one of the things I know about white kids is they do some very terrible pranks jokes. Yeah, but it, it, and that was there wasn't no damn prank. They was over there. They had sat that little nigga ass up. They had got together. And they're like, yeah, we're gonna get a little ass over him. They pulled some of them mean girl tricks. This is female shit right here. This is what girls used to do in high school where they take one of the cheerleaders that they be hating on because she get all the attention from the guys and well, bring her ass to the house and start man. whipping her goddamn ass. Mm-hmm. That what type of shit did with this war. They been watching all the race stuff go on in the media. They last is mad and jealous of the attention that black people got are getting. And they look and said, we got us a yeah, little nibbling here. We got, we got this little niblet here, and we're going to bring his ass over to the house and torture the hell out of him. They had this shit planned out. They got that dude over there drinking scrum piss. Now, like, hell no, son. We fighting, son. That's what I'm saying. you can making me laugh, and it's in a laughing matter. And, 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 to a certain degree, it is. They over there drinking piss, bro. They're like, no, though, you got to raise your kids stronger than that, black folk. They over there got your son drinking piss. They I, they didn't even freeze it. Didn't make it cold or nothing. He over there drinking warm piss. And that old is. summer piss. You know, and you walk through the hood, and up, you smell bro. that little warm piss on the side of the street. They was drinking warm piss over there, bro. Shut up, bro. And maybe, maybe, and yeah, think about it. Maybe we could be wrong. Like, maybe we could. Maybe the parent did probably tell their son. No, he didn't. I was just looking. Did you see him? No. I'm going to show you a picture of him. Smoke. The boy looked like. He looked like he looked like the type of nigga. If you pressed him a little bit, he'll drink your piss. But no, like I said, like one of the things that I know from being a kid myself, and you should know that it's a lot of stuff. Yo, like, but you just you listen to your parents most of the time. But a lot of time, when somebody older, your parents try to give you some advice, you necessarily don't take it. You, hey, I'm going to do what I want to do. And my yeah. mom and dad probably did tell him the things about racism and things like this. So he could be skeptical. And man, he looked at it. No, those are my friends. And then he deserved that piss. Those are my friends. They be in. Because I know this for a fact. Because I've heard black people say this about white people. Oh, they were good to me. They so good to me. Yeah, he deserved that piss then. And it like, um, they... I won't say that. I was like, yeah, they did some. They helped me out when I when I needed it. I thank them for that. Hey, that that's a human being thing. Somebody helped you out. But I would never say, oh, they being good to me. Mm-hmm. Because that means I would let my guard down for some shit like this to happen. No, I would never let my guard down for anybody. Yeah. 
for anybody. And, and again, um, I would never advise a girl to go over a dude's house when there's like five or six dudes up because some bad shit might happen. And for a black person, or a, y'all men get that train. Shut up. Or oh, for Come any on, ride that train. for any minority. I would never advise you to go over, especially when it, like, I, I, yeah, they, I'm going to say it, I don't give a fuck. I would never advise any minority to go over to a white person's house and it's about eight or nine white people over there. You remember that girl in eight, Atlanta eight. a couple of years ago that went missing? No. I ain't tell you about that story, I'll tell you about it out there. No. Yeah, the black girl went missing. Cause missing and, and I'm not saying, yo, those white people are going to do anything racist to you. But I will say they will pull some very cruel jokes that will make you think that that maybe has some, and they might not be racist. They might be semi-racist, maybe. I don't know. They might, but I know they're gonna pull some cruel jokes to make you say, "Man, why would you do that to me?" No, them motherfucker racist. Anytime you do some shit and you hurling racial slurs at somebody, yo, and and punching them and shit like that, yo, ain't got them racist. And plus, you over there with that warm piss. That little dude see, over no, there, no, no, and I want to like it. What like Stop. I want? I want to see. I want to hear what? No, for no. no, 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 no. I want to no. hear from some of the other guys that were there. No, because out of all the people that do, you didn't have one friend who was like, nah, man, cut this shit out, bro. Nah, we shouldn't be doing it. If all of them was up and down, yeah, they sat that nigga up. How many dude was it? How many? I don't know, but it was, it was some. It I had to be, and then it had to be at least three or four, one or two dude. If one or two dudes had him drinking pit, oh, you whip his head. If you're the father, you one or two dudes had you drinking pit. You know, I'm whipping your goddamn head. I'm whipping your head. You know, you, you know, like it, with my mom and daddy, if I got jumped by five or six dudes and I came home and told my mom and dad about that shit, and I said, the first thing they would been like, did you fight back? No. Nah. You did? You fought back Go get the way. belt. No, the mama would have been like, go out there and get them switches. Go get them switches. They would beat me. They would have whooped my goddamn ass for not fighting back. You better take one arm out. But it didn't again. Like, yo, it could have been five or six. It could have been a... No, it, I, I can't agree with you. With two, you had a fighting chance. Um, like that video that Asian, had, an Asian dude had the African dude told him on a wagon. And the other black dude had to come and tell him, man, get off that. Doc, what you doing? I was like, man, look at the, Af- the African running around here pushing the dude around on a whack. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was like, what is this? But maybe uh, I, don't, I don't, I don't know. But I, I, I can only speak of things that I've heard. So, like, cause maybe though, if it was some white people in there and they thought it was wrong, they thought it was going too far, they weren't finna say shit. They probably was scared themselves. Yeah, but you hope, and I don't even know, like. Like you know, yeah, a lot of people don't hope, have hope the little kid to get justice, but they kids. So what are the, what are they gonna do to these little dude pu- they gonna do for doing? They probably shit. ain't gonna have much punishment from it at all. And you know, like you said, they were white. They ain't gonna goddamn slap them with that. Yeah, we gonna yeah he a kid, but we gonna what it is we gonna it's something when they make them treat him as an adult, some shit like that. I can't think of the damn right term. They ain't gonna do anything like that. They're not gonna look at this and say, yo, that was racially charged and that shit should be Yeah, the tried as an adult. He might be mm-hmm. a kid, but he'll be tried as an adult. They're not gonna do that to them. They white. Yeah. Sorry to say it. Man, yeah, but I hope they the family finds some resolution to the situation. But stop sending your kids to uh white people crazy. And then also that like <laughs> that kid didn't have no big brother. Well, probably, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe yeah, he was the big brother. Yeah, that one stop sending sending people like to all white neighborhoods. Stop sending your kids to black folk. All right, hit that like button, subscribe. Next topic, last topic of the night. Uh, George Floyd. George Floyd trial have started with a little, you know, police officer kill him, and they picking some of the jurors. And man, I ain't gonna tell y'all no lie. Some of this stuff that coming out about these juries, it got your boy thinking. It got me thinking. The fix may be in, bro. It was one dude 
He said he was an Af- had an African accent. So immediately you know he's Somalian. He's Somalian because he's from Minnesota. And high Somalian um, population there. And he said, I support Black Lives Matter and Blue Lives Matter. How, Sway? How? How do you support both groups? No way you support both groups. Then they had another person on the jury. And she was an all lives matter person. Her brother is a deputy in the same police department that the police officer come from that killed George Floyd. And there's another cannon. She was like, nah, I really haven't watched any of of the news coverage on it, so I really don't know much about the case. How the hell are you a juror on the Boo? Boo! That was the biggest story in the United States of America last year. Kick you off. live right there in Minnesota, where that shit happened at. Y'all, yo, 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 they was burning buildings. They was burning buildings mm-hmm. in Minnesota. I mean, you chose to know. You telling me you didn't see any of it? They got to get her out of there. Come on now. You saw nothing? They got to get her out of there. They they want. That bit might have been in a coma. Somebody had hit her ass in the head with a blunt object. Nah. Two months earlier, she was out of it. I would have a problem with the other two, Jill, but that one right there, you got to get that one out. Nah, I have a problem with all three of them. Nah, like I see, I I said I had a problem with, but, like, you. At least, like, because you know they probably already showing their biases, but that one, she basically said, like, nah. Now, maybe that, maybe it's a good thing that she can come in with no biases. She ain't heard shit, so this is the first time she handed it going off. She neutral. But it also a little fishy because, like you said, this that was everywhere. Yeah, it was everywhere. Biggest story. Everybody was talking about it. And, and one of the things, too, man. About, I don't think people in the media are discussing this. Did she live on a farm? I don't know what she. Did she live on a farm? I take it back. No, I still don't take it back. Cause she, she ain't live on a farm just by herself with no outside sources. Somebody then came over and told her ass about some shit. Family members, friends, somebody said something about that stuff that was going on. And but I don't think the people in the media are talking about this enough. About what happened last year. After the George Floyd killing happened, like three, four weeks after, that Officer Derek Shabin, whatever his last name is, that dude wanted to plead guilty to third degree manslaughter. This is him admitting guilt. But William Barr, he said no. Ain't it a judge? No, attorney for Donald Trump. He I said no. They they wouldn't they wouldn't accept this guilty plea. And the reason why he said he wouldn't accept this guilty plea because it wasn't enough evidence yet gathered in the case. He was there. He committed. He's the one who committed the crime. A man tell you that I want you to take responsibility. For the death of George Floyd And William Barr says No you will not Until we gather the rest of this evidence Huh Are you kidding me Where they do that at In America In this world I'm like yo And so I'm looking at it And I'm thinking to myself like A dude admitting guilt And the attorney general looks and say Nope. We gotta he gather more of it. it. That's why I'm like, yo, man, it look like the fences the fix is in on this thing to me, bro. He looked at it as oh man, he just made a mistake. A mistake that caused somebody that he life. He deserves some type of punishment. And he admits that. That and yes. that he admitting it. Yes. 
Like, now, it ain't like he's saying, nah, man, let's take this thing to trial and, and, and everything. He was like, nah, man, I want to admit that I did something wrong here. And that ain't gonna lie. And William Barr, like, hell no. Now that I think about it, the reason why I mentioned that because I heard somebody else say, oh, you know, people make mistakes. Because that's a new thing now. And something happened. Oh, we only human. We make mistakes. So they basically, when people start saying that, they basically saying, yo, let me off. Mm -hmm. Let me off. And he's like, okay, I agree. Certain things, certain things can be considered mistakes. And then some things, nah. Nah. And that right there what happened to George Floyd, nah, you got, like, that was a, it probably was a mistake, but nah, somebody died. Still wasn't no goddamn mistake. Man. Either. If you put your head down on yeah. somebody's neck and press it to the ground, you know damn well that person can die. Yeah, Not a and, and, but, like, when you see a lot of the, like, shit the police be doing to people, it be eight, nine people. Eight, nine police is on one person. Yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. that shit is bad yeah, no, you and can terrible. Yeah, you can damn suffocate that person. And, Put that much pressure on someone's chest and they not able to breathe. Yeah, and so, but, like, like I said, either way, whether they were a mistake or not a mistake, like, somebody die, yo, you gotta take some type of accountability, you gotta have some type of punishment. A lot of times, these motherfuckers are walking scot-free. yeah, yeah. And, and they telling you, oh, it's a mistake. Small mistakes, yeah, you can walk walk away from. And what I think was it, was it, I don't know if you heard. No. Maybe it was second or third degree. I think they had took it out, and now they were like, yo, they put it back in. I mean, I have heard some stuff about about it and about how people were mad, but I can't remember why, like, why people were mad about it. So, And, and I kind of look at it like, for, I know this, one case, of them, they for had, this case, like one of the things, I don't know for sure they doing, but they should have all of them on the on the count. They should be first degree murder, second degree, third degree, first degree manslaughter, second degree, and third degree manslaughter. Instead, because normally what will happen? This is what they had did down with Trayvon Martin, and they had did it in another case. I think it was yeah with Michael Brown, and they were like first degree, and I was like, man. You, you got to prove intent to kill. They put them charges in there to let people off because they know you can't prove that. Yeah, no offense. Uh, but I, put I all of those charges in there so somebody so for the jury can have a selection of all of those things. And then they can have an option. But it ain't no way that juries, because you watch the people from the Trayvon Martin case, they came away feeling like, nah. We actually believe that George Zimmerman did do something wrong, but we couldn't charge him because the stand your ground laws and then first degree murder charge. That don't supposed to happen, but it happened when the prosecutor wanna let the person go though. Mm -hmm. Alright, people, hit that like button, subscribe. Man, thank y'all for listening. Hold on, before we go, it's quite funny. I was sitting here laughing the whole time. Because I know a lot of people in the comment section like to talk about our goddamn thermostat. Is it thermostat? No. It's the that, fire alarm. Yeah. I never paid attention to it because I had headphones on. This is the first time I'm recording without headphones on, and that thing do come in loud. Hell yeah, yeah. I've been know that moment. <laughs> that thing do come in loud. <laughs> so every time it did it, See? I laughed. So. I'm going to fix that motherfucker, though, man. I ain't gonna tell y'all last it's gonna be before next time, but the ceiling pretty high. But I'm gonna get up there and change that goddamn thing. All right, people, hit that like button, man. Subscribe, man. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.